Welcome guys to another episode of Skyward. So I was thinking, you know, every single episode I just rush out there and I stab people for coins and that's all I do. And I was thinking, what if there was an integral part of the Skyward's experience that I was missing by only playing like that all the time? And then I realized, of course, there is something huge I'm missing out on and it is the wonders of home ownership. So today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build and maintain your home, how to pay property taxes. It's going to be amazing. Now, I know what you're thinking. Technoblade, is this one of those joke videos? I need to learn genuine Skywars strats so I can get all the coins. And I, this is a surprisingly effective strategy. And even I don't know why. I've actually, like, won, like, all of my games that I've actually done this. I don't, I don't understand either. But apparently it's a devastatingly effective strategy, so... All right, so the first thing you have to do is you have to place the door from the outside so that doesn't look like gar doesn't look like garbage. This is just basic 101 build stuff. So we're going to want to build. We have limited resources, so we're going to have to use them very effectively. Do you mind? Excuse me. Oh, we're already up to two kills, and we haven't even, like, built our house. So that's how you know. It's just such an effective strategy. So we're going to want to get rid of these leaves because the leaves look ugly. That's just that's all there is to it. Mm -hmm. We're going to want to build a little pillar here so that we can have the glass like this. Mm-hmm. Use some uh, wood blocks like that. Do we have an axe? We have a lot of diamond pickaxes. We needed all five of them. Thanks, Spawn Island. This is the resources we need. Who are you looking at? You admire my house? I admire my house. All right. He's laughing at us, but little does he know how much we're going to save when the tax forms come in. Don't mock me. What kind of house do you have? See, you're killing everyone for coins, but you want to know what's way more valuable than coins? Property. You just walk straight off the map. All right. Now uh, we, there's only one person left, so we're gonna want we're gonna want to build a sign that did politely asked him to not interrupt us while we do this. Uh, go away. Uh, he might not like us after we did that. <laughs> that might have uh, put a little bit of a damper on our relationship. All right, it's okay. We're gonna want to put we're gonna have a stone on the bottom layer so that we can pretend that this is all planned, and we're gonna have a glass glass right here. Now we're gonna want to start building our roof. Actually, I want to put some more glass in here. Uh, the interior design is key. If your property is not high value, how will you be able to win the game? I don't know. I don't make the rules, man. I just discover them. All right, now we're going to want... I don't know how we're going to make this roof, considering we don't really have uh, actual resources. Maybe I can mine... Maybe there's, like, extra blocks like this. Now we have 23 hardened clay. Now we can just abuse the Brigadier perk to insulate our roof. Uh -huh. We're going to want to go like this. Mm -hmm. We're going to want to have a nice little high roof so that we just have a lot of head space. You know, I'm a pretty tall person. I, I bang my head on everything because all buildings are made for short people. And it's always annoyed me. So we're making this house nice, spacey, and comfortable. He appears, he appears, he's given his skeleton more gear than I have. There we go. That This, this is beautiful. What if we built an escape? I got this. Okay. Okay, I have everything... I have everything planned out. We're going to want to quickly sneak on over here and make sure our house looks reasonable before anyone notices. Beautiful. And now we're going to sneak on right back into the house and he'll never know that we have a secret passageway. Little as you know. Alright, I feel like this guy might have slightly more gear than us. You know, he's got like, you know, full prot. Full prot for by now. He's eating gapples. He has ender pearls. But we... We own a house, so which one of us truly is the richer man? Did he just he, did he just fall off by himself? Why do I even play this game? You know, I started this video off as a joke, but now I've won an obscene amount of games in a row, and I, I wasn't kidding, man, about the 100% win rate. I'll I'll play the clips. I just won this game. What a hooligan! And you're dead. Incredible. And close fight. What is your plan? I don't know. I'm starting to think that I'm actually onto something now. You see, the, this strat, it may seem like a complete joke, but it actually has a few advantages that you may not have thought of. The one thing is home turf field advantage. See, a lot of the time when you die in Skywars, it's because there's like 30 guys attacking you simultaneously. You don't know what to do. This never happens when you're a homeowner because you can just sit here. I mean, you can get rushed by multiple people, but it's pretty unlikely because, you know, you have built fortifications. Once the game has progressed, there's just not going to be multiple people left alive to rush you in the first place, so it's just, it's not going to happen. 
that you're only gonna have to beat the last guy. And the thing about beating the last guy is that he's usually not a random, he usually has like full prop or whatever, but somehow the strat perseveres because he sees, what he sees is a random Steve skin builder in a terrible house. He assumes you downloaded the game yesterday. He, he assumes that you think you're playing single player and that you don't even know the difference between him and a creeper. And then suddenly he tries to bridge up and you become spontaneously intelligent and then just throw him off a cliff before he can do anything and free coins. That or Skywars players are just really, really bad. I think both of these explanations are valid. I mean, I thought, because it'd be like the last Skywars player left alive, I thought there'd be a little bit of like, you know, natural selection for, you know, intelligence, but I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like Skywars, I feel like my Skywars videos just slowly document my loss of faith in everyone around me because it's like, I keep thinking, you know what, there's no way, there's no way that, surely this, this is where the line will be drawn. This, this is getting too far. And then every single time, they managed to somehow disappoint me, even though I keep setting the bar lower and lower. I don't know. So we're, we're almost finished building the roof here. I'm feeling pretty good about this house. I don't know about this guy. This guy is a... Uh, that username does not... Does not invoke confidence in his playing ability. But you know what? You know what? I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He's actually pretty much already gotten past her. What are you... Oh! Out of here. Well, now he owns my house. See how the positions have changed, but does he know how to use the house as effectively as I know? Why is this game like this? I don't understand. People are always like, Technoblade, why are you trying so hard in Skywars? I'm not. I'm trying the least amount possible. It's just... The Skywars players, man, why are they like this? Also, for reference, that guy we killed last round was actually a nicked YouTuber, so, I mean, you can process that however you want to. I know I can't process it. What is this game? I don't understand anything anymore. You know what? I'm going to mid. I'm going to build my house at middle, you know? I don't actually really have any blocks, so I'm going to have to go to middle to get blocks anyway, so I figure I might as well build a house directly in the center of the map, just to, just to annoy people. So we're going to want to get blocks first. Oh, there we go. For some reason, mid gives a really good amount of blocks, and your starting islands don't. I feel like it should be the other way around, because mid is where all the, like, you know, other useful stuff is, but I mean, whatever. I ain't complaining. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna want to build like this. We have, don't really have an axe, so I'm gonna start correcting the misplaced blocks a little bit later. We do have, we do have some glass. I don't know how we're gonna want to distribute this on each side. Alright. I'm sure, I'm sure we can totally make this even. Uh, perfect! Absolutely no asymmetrical parts to this base whatsoever. Look, I'm dealing with limited resources here, okay? Leave me alone. Maybe I should have actually, like, went, went and gone the other mid-chest, but whatever, man. Who needs to loot when you have property like this? This is amazing. No one has actually, like, gone to the center of the map. I don't understand it. This should be... This should be where all the people congregate to fight, and yet I've been completely unharmed this entire time. We don't actually have a door into here. That is a bit of a structural weakness. Hmm. There we go. We've, we've finished our fort. I guess I could actually, like, enchant things. I don't have any levels, though. That's a shame. Hello. Denied. You wanna try something? You gonna try something? Out of here. Oh, someone else? You wanna try something? Hmm. It's like these guys wanna get Oh no, why I wasn't I wasn't doing nothing. Hello. He wants to be my friend. But I've learned my lesson. No friendship ever. Team? We're the only people alive! Who is there to team on? Doesn't even make sense. No. Out. This is my property. No one is allowed. This is self-defense. I am defending my own property by doing this. Nope. Stop egging my house. Stop egging my house. That is just rude. You have missed every single egg. You did it. You hit an egg. And we're off to the final 1v1. This guy thinks he... I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know what his plan is. He's placing some blocks. Maybe he thinks that he can build his own home. That'll be beautiful enough 
to destroy my home, but it's just, it's just not gonna happen, man. It's just, no, there's not a chance. Don't worry, guys, I watched this on Tap L. It's gonna go great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything must burn. Everything must explode. Goodbye, property. No, no, it's all gone. It's all gone. There is only Technoblade. <laughs> Just straight up like artillery shelled his dreams into non-existence. Oh my god. That was another episode of me slowly losing my faith in the average intelligence of Skywars players. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to lose even more faith in people's intelligence, check out the number one Bed Wars Trap video. Which is, I guarantee you, the most concentrated bad you will ever see. It's amazing. So yeah, check that out if you want.